Hello everyone, welcome to Imperia Galactic Survival Reforged Eden. Winslow, I am floating around in space. Uh, but don't worry, it's not as bad as it sounds. Uh, I am here, I made a station. I'm here parked with a station next to a UCH research vessel. I plop down just a simple space station. Uh, I've got my SV in here. Yeah. Let's show ya. Uh, I put in a deconstructor and a furnace because I wanted some construction time without interference from drones because I have constant drone attacks down on Sienna. Um, so this is a good little basic starter base station. It's amazing. You just got to put in a couple more generators if you want to do anything. Uh, I also dismantled the CV that I was working on and just used its parts for and other uh, asteroids or meteorites and asteroids that I mined to just plop out the Wayfarer. So I'm using, show you around on the inside. If I can pile it with a suit. Uh, I've got my HB in here. It's got a nice, I always have a, a hard time um, or I don't have a great time making a CV with a hanger because I just, I hate the hanger placement. And the Wayfarer is a good starter chip for this. Put in my extra computers. Got my commander on deck when I'm gone. It's got a pretty decent garden spot. Which I'm utilizing on a ship. I very rarely utilize these on ships because power goes out. Ship goes out, which reminds me. Fuel. E. Um, I went around and mined on several planets. In we're gonna off. I gotta show you that next. Um, I went and did just. I went through a couple to a couple neighboring star systems. Not very much. Went over to Alpha for some trading, got some upgrade kits, small and advanced upgrade kits, and then I went to a couple of the hot systems looking for lava planets so I could get gold. I succeeded, and I got enough gold, uh, and then I went to a barren metal and got a restroom in Ziscosium. Got enough bits and pieces to make, once again, a pulsar. Which I will be using for combat. Uh, and I thought the first thing that we could do uh, How did I turn my helmet off? What is even the helmet button? There, you you for helmet, okay. Um I thought let's go to Sienna. Close it off there, and uh, we got the drone base that's there. And then I'm honestly ready to start. We'll come back here. We'll talk with the UCH people. That's very loud. Uh, we'll talk with the UCH people, and we're going to start researching... Uh, Object 82. They've got other people um, working for them that are out doing the system surveys and explorations and out hunting Xerax. Um, I'm going to take out the Xerax installation here, the drone base, because should the UCH decide to 
rebuild and repopulate the uh, colony here. I don't want them to have to do with the drone base. It's been a good time. There's uh, a couple planets that I've popped down on in moons um, with a variety of meteorites. Uh, I've got one that's got pentaxid meteorites that falls down. Um, and those I find are much more my style for harvesting is because I can just I can just one button harvest it and occasionally you wiggle the ship back and forth. It takes a while to mine up a full meteorite. But it's generally always worth it. And the next project will be a better miner because while I like my little mining hover vessel, it doesn't even have shields. So there are certain things I can't do with it. But uh, we're going to finally, once and for all, secure Sienna or the UCH. And maybe they'll be able to rebuild the Lost Colony. This little teeny tiny planet. Yeah, I, you know, I have a certain set of ships that I like using at certain stages in the game. And I'll probably uh, be the Xerax on the map, even though there's no installation there. They've claimed my base as theirs. Um, I will probably end up for combat and later stage combat. be building out the um, the Manta. Okay. I'm going to do like so. I'm going to land you on the other side of the lake. And I'm just going to see how this little ship does. Against a drone base. Should be fine. Shooting at me? Okay, shooting it.
feeling that I'm not even close enough, realistically, to do damage to it. Not even hitting the shield. These lasers have pretty terrible aim in atmosphere, or pretty terrible range. See, it does a really good job of hitting the shields when close. Air density here must be pretty high. get the shields down they won't come back so and mine come back so much faster this sv has more shields than my cv to watch your shields. I haven't done combat in Imperion in months. Great. The ship can take out uh, drone nullifier if flown right. I need to go back to pilot school. thing here. I don't think I can launch that in atmosphere. So we're just gonna work on taking the guns out. Yeah. 
Captain. Would I leave the ship? You can destroy that one, which is a shame. Shields, shield parts. It's actually, a shield that I could. I could steal. Uh, let's go get my combat armor on, and then we're going for. Do I think I'm still in my spacesuit, which means I have no armor? sure to disable the uh, torpedo because you can't use it in atmosphere I don't think there's the, the bomb version you can 
But the the torpedoes are super expensive and very inaccurate and basically shooting money. That suit. It's going to be very cold out there. Man. I have to sacrifice my armor to fight in the cold. You know what I could actually do is let's bring the big ship over. So that it's sentry guns and up out any transports that fly up. So that it doesn't blow up my uh, little ship. now with no guns safe to park next to relatively safe we're gonna ices weapon turrets just gonna go ahead and not attack the generator are attacking the troop transport that's stuck up on the roof. What happens with these? The, their their brains are bad. The coding is bad, so they get stuck on their own emplacement. Hey, okay. you ready to go? been a minute since I have been in a drone base. Here's what you're shooting at. Oh. You have fun with that. I always want to make sure when going around, god I'm rusty, that I get uh the spawner plates, if I can. That one is immortal. I got the one that was there. All the gun. So we're going to clear this out and then. Them 
on me. That there. It's Now's not the time to be looting, Winslow. Oh, it'd be. Okay. Hear a grumbling of what sounds like a ripper dog. And then through there should be a corridor down. To a death room.
I think it's just those two guys. Okay. We've got... Death room down there. I've sworn there was must have gotten both of them. Okay. Then let's go back over to the other side. I'm gonna loot those containers. Not that it really matters. No one else in here, right? Flamethrower, hell no. You're not dealing with flamethrower right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put you right there. Yeah. Not dealing with a fucking flamethrower. Check my ceiling.
making sure there's no water beam. Cook it. Down there. No more respawn. Cool. Okay. We're relatively safe here for the moment. locked so that means you have to go through and it could blow it up i really don't want to use too many explosives in a room full of fuel tanks you know And that's from the other side. I will use the explosives. I said I wasn't going. That's why you don't want to do that. Loads an entire room. That was the other, yeah, other side. Burns. Got an ointment. So yeah, it was the other room that we cleared from above. Dude's in the corner. Okay, uh, and now we can proceed. Boom! That is a generator, huh? all the base power.
and we test something perhaps very stupid. See if I can just blow all the power. I guess it didn't blow all the power, but it blew a significant amount of it. Wonder if there's another generator room? Side. I want to test this out. I can pop all the power and not have to deal with the final sequence down in the death room. That'd be cool. That that obviously wasn't all the power for the base. It's still pretty good though. Ah, satisfying. Explosions. Okay. And then this should be the final corridor death. That's a big old mech boy. You know why I'm cheesing this? Shoot its foot, I have to shoot its crotch. I mean, valid. I'm gonna give it a moment for the bodies to despawn so I can scout the room. Put their fruit away. Got over there. These assault mechs, like if they if they hit you, I mean, these things are intended to take out ships. Do you think that you're really going to survive on foot against one? Er. 
her. And I've got a, a clearly labeled button to pull. But there should be a gun over here and a gun over here that I want to take out. And then pulling that button opens up the doors. Xerax come out. Careful with things like motion sensor. That didn't open up any doors. Okay. <laughs> and then, good now moment. That could have been really bad. I finally died. Because of a fucking flamethrower! Man, those guys are the worst. They are the actual worst. What's my ship doing? Okay. Ah, first death. I can't even say that it was, you know, in. Can't even say that it was cheap or anything. It wasn't a cheap shot. It's just that Xerox flamethrowers are realistically the hardest Xerox to deal with. Because they just stack a burn on you. Can't do anything about it. I mean, I have water, but I did my med kit. My med kit didn't help. It's all right. Well, 
Where the hell am I going? Every time I go into this type of base, I always hate this bit at the bottom because especially with him guarding it. He was almost dead too. Damn. <sighs> Hit me with radiation. I think my trauma kit can. I'm gonna have to go. Because that'll kill me faster than I can finish this. Go to my ship. Heal it up. I wish that there were tools that you had that you could set down like a turret that is part of the the classes that they can have you choose you know you could do like a turret or anything better grenades and bombs no. How's my armor? Eh, it's okay. And then, because we're here and we're right at the end. Give ourselves some food buff for right for the end. Shouldn't need it. <clears throat> I want to think that that was the last guy that was down there. I'm probably wrong. Man, finally died. Okay, let's see. <sighs> he got, he's dead. Dead.
doing this again. Fucking flamethrower. Yeah. How do you feel standing in a kill box, huh? You like it? Have a turret up there. Um, Let's see if I can get some. I don't think I can, though. I I did some damage. Anders. Yeah, I don't think that's an angle that I can reach. Let's check the other side. So snake up through here. So that still sound like there's somebody grumbling around. Okay, and then it'd be green open.
Pop the... Okay. No more drone base attack. And that's what happens when you pop a drone base. It ends the drone attacks on the planet. Until, of course, if, depending on server settings, uh, respawn. EOI respawn. Man, I can't believe I finally died. A hey, upgrade kits. But yeah, there's a there's an abandoned drone version of uh, you guys can seriously choke on a whole lot. There's an abandoned version of this POI. Uh, that is corrupted by the legacy. That is a whole additional spot underneath the fuel. Hey, I'm gonna not gonna say no to ten thousand fuel. Yeah, that's a drone base for you. Um, I'm gonna. Get all the boxes and everything. And uh, it's a shame that I died. I'm, I'm now not invincible. One death. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good ratio, though. I mean, if you're keeping count. Yeah, I'm gonna clear this out, and then... Back to adventure. So thanks for coming along. Watching me kick it. Milk. And, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye!